Hello. So I just, I, I'm going to say this, even though it's obnoxious, we're all so cute in that intro video. Like <laughs> I, I was just like watching it for the first time in a while and I'm like, gosh, we're so cute. I always <laughs> blur my eyes so they don't look at it, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're all lovely. I'll take a look next I time. like it. <laughs> all right. Well, now that we got that out of the way, good afternoon, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back to Reference Roundtable. Um, I, these are kind of like my new favorite episodes, the, the book club episodes where we all read a book and talk about, it. I don't know. I've just, I've never been in a book club before. I don't know if that's weird Aww. or not. So uh, this is like, <laughs> I like it. Maybe I need to learn another one. <laughs> I like it too. I think it's fun. Well, I know when you could join. <laughs> <laughs> it's during my work hours. So it's kind of a problem. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> All right. So, of course, before we get started, we should probably introduce ourselves. I'm Lacey, and with me are the lovely Sarah and Michael. And we all are librarians here at the Sioux City Public Library, and this is what we do. We show up on Thursday afternoons, and we talk about books and stuff. <laughs> so, as I kind of said, this is our uh, book club episode. Oh, and we already oh. have a hello. We got a hello from Colorado, Ooh. from Rosemary. Ooh, I love Hi, Colorado. Rosemary. Hello back to you. <laughs> that sounds really pleasant that sounds right lovely now. lovely right now, yeah. <laughs> All right. So this week we are doing our book club. So we, once a month, all read the same book and we talk about it. It's usually at the, towards the end of the month, but September's a really long month. So that's why mm -hmm. we're, we're doing it on the fourth week, not the fifth week. Oh, she evaporated. We've lost Lacey. <laughs> well, we can okay. kind of, I mean, it, the thing, the funny part of all of that is this month was Lacey's pick. So oh. the book we're going to discuss. I'm back. I don't know what happened there. So <laughs> sorry. Well, it's, we're already off to an exciting start. <laughs> Well, you know, I wanted to keep it exciting. It was a thriller that we read. Mm -hmm. So maybe I wanted to bring a little bit of an edge to <laughs> reference roundtable today. Okay, anyway. <laughs> it was my pick this month. And we all read the book, The Guide by Peter Heller. And as I kind of mentioned, uh, I've heard it called a, a wilderness thriller, which I think is very appropriate once you read the book. Um, and I think before we dive in and start talking about it, I should read a quick summary, just so yeah, if people haven't read the book, they kind of have an idea of what the heck we're talking about. So here we go. So Kingfisher Lodge, nestled in a canyon on a mile and a half of the most pristine river water on the planet, is known by locals as Billionaire's Mile and is locked behind a heavy gate. Sandwiched between barbed wire and a meadow with a sign that reads, don't get shot, the resort boasts boutique fishing at its finest. Safe from viruses that have plagued America for years, Kingfisher offers a respite for wealthy clients. Now it also promises a second chance for Jack, a return to normalcy after a young life filled with loss. When he is assigned to guide a well-known singer, his only job is to rig her line, carry her gear, and steer her to the best trout he can find. But then a human scream pierces the night and Jack soon realizes that this idyllic fishing lodge may be merely a cover for a far more sinister operation. So you can get a little feel for it. <laughs> All is not well in Billionaire's Mile. No. So yeah, we'll just dive right in. It is very much a wilderness thriller. I would say one of the main characters in Oh no. I think she was going to say something like one of the main characters was the wilderness, which yeah. I think it's super appropriate that we have somebody watching from Colorado today because we're, <laughs> the book is about Colorado wilderness. Am I right? That's what I was thinking. Too. Yes. It was a perfect so. setting to get us started. <laughs> yeah. so. you were, gonna, were you going to say that one of the main characters yes. was? I have wilderness. no idea what's going on. My camera has never given me problems before, so I have no idea. But <laughs> I don't know. it keeps saying this device is not connected, like when you go away. So I don't. Yeah. So we'll we'll see. But yeah, it's like I feel like especially like the first like two thirds of the book. I mean, Heller spends so much time talking about 
what the scenery looks like, what the trees look like, what the trout look like. I mean, you get like vivid descriptions of like a single like brown trout. Mm -hmm. I mean, he yeah. really like describes it. Um, and I, I'm kind of one of those people, I love going outside. I love being in the wilderness. I love going for hikes, but I don't necessarily read like wilderness books, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. So this was kind of a new one for me, but I, I really, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I think it could have been annoying, and I like, but it wasn't like the detail that he goes into, like I, I was made it really picturesque, mm -hmm. like it was pretty. It, it, this is the word I kept thinking. It was like it felt like I was there, and I felt like I was in the wilderness, even though I was reading a book inside. It makes you want to go outside. That's what yeah. it did. Mm -hmm. Like I was like, I wanna. I want to go for a hike now. <laughs> yeah, it did. Well, I'm really not an outdoorsy person, like at all. Me so I appreciated the descriptions because it was like I could be there without having to be outdoors. Yeah. <laughs> so. That's also a fair point. You can enjoy the outdoors without actually having to like get dirty. <laughs> it kind of felt like the pace of going fishing, just kind of like relaxed. I don't know. Yeah. It, well, that's but, a good way to describe it. Strange for a thriller though, right? Like Yeah. I it felt it felt like that like maybe at the like maybe chapter one, but then I very quickly it very quickly got like a creepy vibe. Like mm -hmm. something isn't right here. Like almost immediately, I feel like. There was a slow build. Mm -hmm. I felt like the the I mean the the last like 20% was like bonkers mm -hmm. um but before that it, i felt like it was a really slow build like there was like little like drops of like here something's mm -hmm. going on maybe here's a little bit more it was very mm -hmm. like he was feeding you very little pieces it reminded me of the shining like if it were yeah. a horror movie it'd be a horror <laughs> movie like the shining not like friday the 13th right like, <laughs> it's very like atmospheric yeah. slow burning just like little, like you said, little nuggets of unsettling things happening here and there. And then suddenly at the end, boom, just it explodes. Like, just like Lacey. Just right. Like <laughs> um, <laughs> well, sorry, friends. <laughs> I think it's adding to it. We just keep like disappearing and popping back in. It's very what did you all? Um, <laughs> What do you all think of the Allison character? That's the singer, right? Her name was Allison, yeah. that he's paired with. I was wondering, like, what you like, who did you guys picture her as, like, in real life? <laughs> I pictured her as Shania Twain. Really? Yeah. <laughs> See, I, I, oh, go ahead, Sarah. Oh, I was gonna, I kept thinking of Kelly Clarkson. I don't know why. You know what's don't know funny? Where came from. <laughs> we all had, I like Carrie Underwood, is who I. <laughs> I like that we all had our own like country singer in mind. Yeah. She was definitely like a bluesy country singer though, right? Yeah. Like I think it was country mm -hmm. singer vibes. That's funny. Because she lives in North Carolina. We did get another comment from Rosemary. She said she needs to read this because the shining is one. <laughs> oh, I do think you would really enjoy it then. I really yeah. do. It I... gets so creepy that at the end I was trying to finish it in bed before I fell asleep and I had to put it aside and switch to a different book because I was like, I'm going to get nightmares. It just got so creepy mm -hmm. at the end. I was mm -hmm. like, <laughs> it was intense. I, I was kind of the same. I had to finish it. Like once I got to like, to the, the, the climax where it was like all going on, I was like, I got to finish this. I can't stop. Mm -hmm. I got to yeah. like, read through to the end. It reminded me of the village. Have you guys ever seen the village? Yes. Oh, that, yeah. Uh, that kind of reminded me of movie. Yeah. It was like something isn't right here it could mm -hmm. totally be one of his movies yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah that's that's the kind of vibes i got it was just like something's wrong here and i thought he did a good job to the author um there was a few characters i mean there was a few characters you knew were like bad you were like this right. is just a bad dude but there was a few characters that i was kind of like going back and forth on i'm like mm -hmm. are you gonna be are you gonna like turn around to be, you know, like a double agent sort of yeah. thing. And you're going to be bad, but you seem good. So there was a few like that, that was kind of kept me on the edge of my seat. It was unpredictable, mm -hmm. which I think can be sometimes rare for a thriller because they get really formulaic. But I had no idea what was like going on in, in terms of the plot. Like I could follow the story, but I had no idea what was going on in terms of like what the bad thing was. Mm -hmm. Like I felt like I was realizing things alongside the characters so it kept me like really in 
I feel like my, what I knew was the same as like what the main character knew. I was never like two steps ahead, if that makes mm -hmm. sense, which maybe mm -hmm. made it even more suspenseful for me. Um, we just got a comment from Bill. He said, I thought it read like a screenplay, especially the end. Absolutely. Oh, totally. Yeah. In my head, I was like, somebody's already has to be turning this into a movie, right? Like, yeah. that was <laughs> what I thought. I was like, this seems like it's so ready for those like panning vista shots of the mountains and the mm -hmm. creek. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I could see it being like a Hulu mini, mini series. It seems very mm -hmm. Hulu. Maybe Kevin Costner's involved some way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, yeah, I also, I don't know. I didn't know if what was going on was going to be some kind of like ooky spooky supernatural magic mm -hmm. stuff, like, or if it was going to be grounded and like, or like something real, if that yeah, makes like sense. Yeah, like more straightforward. Yeah. yeah. And I think that goes back to what the wilderness of it all and how like the wild can seem so supernatural. Yeah. And then, like the part in the synopsis you're reading about the human scream at first, they're like, oh, it's an owl because like snow owl, or whatever kind of owl it was when they make a noise, it sounds like a screaming person. Mm -hmm. And it's just like those little touches. So do foxes too. Yeah. So yeah. that I never really knew like what, like, if this book was going to turn magic, all like if magic sure. or something yeah. was going to come into play. Yeah. Um, what did you guys think about? So it's very much like in our world. They don't really say it's in our world, but it's definitely right. in a world very similar to ours. But there's like that. There's the virus. There's kind of that. It's mm -hmm. weird because it doesn't play like a super giant part because they're kind of cordoned off in this mm -hmm. fishing lodge. But there's always this this kind of overhanging news of oh the virus is bad in this town or people are getting sick they don't call it covid i don't think it's i no. think it's supposed to be something different maybe it's similar something, but it's not covid but covid happened in that world because they're like th like this is like years in the future i think because covid's happened and then there was like new covid I think, and then this is like the thing after yeah. that i think it's still pretty close like i think it's within the next five years i don't yeah. think it's like you know um far. Far. <laughs> yeah i feel like the author uses like the vocabulary and stuff that we've built over the last few years dealing with a pandemic really well yeah um it like he uses pandemic logic like really well if that makes sense to like aid with the story and add tension um yeah at first when they started mentioning like it at the beginning i was like oh is this gonna be just like shoehorned in there but i think it served its purpose especially towards the end. And yeah. I don't feel like he beat you over the head with it. No. It wasn't every right. five minutes, virus, this, virus, that. It was very just kind of like, like you subtly, know, like you said, not shoehorned. Yeah. It was just kind of like placed a little yeah. bit here and there. And then when it did play a role like that mattered, it really like, it made sense, mm -hmm. I guess. We got a comment here from Dagna. She says she just downloaded it on Libby and it's not the usual type she reads. So she's not sure if she'll like it, especially when you compare it to The Shining. So I guess I'm putting my trust in well, it. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say it shares the, that much in common no, with The Shining. It's it doesn't have that like, horror story. Yeah. yeah. It's, I was about to say it's not gory. It is a, a couple parts, but no, not, not really. Not bad at all. Not bad. No, it's either. not like it's just like that spooky atmosphere of the shining mm -hmm. where it's like you almost like let like come some kind of like string instruments playing in the background, like the D, like I don't know, like <laughs> it's more scary. suspenseful than yeah. like graphic. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's um, very like short, <laughs> so that's yeah, a plus. That's like, what you're I'm not gonna waste a bunch of time on it. It reads so, yeah. Fast. I it listened really to does. it and it was like less than i think six maybe almost seven hours but i do that's like pretty short for speed, a, like so. a, yeah yeah super super quick mm -hmm. i didn't actually know this until after i'd picked it and i started reading it it's like a sequel technically not a sequel mm -hmm. to another book that um peter heller wrote called the river yeah which and, bill just commented oh yeah we started talking <laughs> about it yeah and yeah, one the of river. the characters from the river is the main character in the guide. But wow. from from everything I've read about the book afterwards, it very much is not like I, I wouldn't say 
you could maybe enjoy it more, but I don't think it like takes away from it. I don't think you won't enjoy this book if you've never read another Peter Heller book from everything I've seen. It yeah. stands on its own. I wondered what the, if the river is about, and I don't think, I mean, because right off the bat in this book, it talks about him like losing a friend and that mm -hmm. whole experience. And I wonder if like that part of his past that, that it's alluding to is what the river is about. I think so. Mm -hmm. um, I think so. Mm -hmm. But it just seems like this book, the tone of it would be so different from that story. So I'm interested. Yeah, I wonder like how the tone of the two compare. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you'll have to read it. <laughs> I just might. I might have to read it actually, because I yeah, the, his his backstory was pretty sad. <laughs> yeah, they of... <laughs> really unraveled a lot of the character's yeah. you know life during uh -huh. the book. You really found out a lot about him. I mean, not even just you know what happened in the river, but like his family and all that so mm -hmm. yeah he packed a lot into a short book mm -hmm. <laughs> he really did yeah and for as for every like ugly moment there was like three beautiful moments of like i don't know peace it was kind of it was weirdly peaceful which made at some <laughs> parts which made the parts that were scary even more scary to me like the there's a lot of contrast in the story yeah i agree that yeah it definitely made me want to read more more peter heller books mm -hmm. i know he's got a few more out there mm -hmm. so i was like i'm gonna have to add those to my list so i feel like it's gonna be difficult to talk about in a spoiler free way but we can do our best what did you all <laughs> think of the ending um bananas um i kind of said that earlier but it just like i felt like it went from like zero to 20 to 100 like yeah it didn't go from zero to 100 but like pretty darn close it really ramped up fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um we got a comment here from bill he said he loved the part where he falls in love with her oh, by watching her mm -hmm. fly fishing cast <laughs> right there there are sweet moments like that mm -hmm. and her character was one where i did not know how her story would turn out yeah and that's a big part of the end as well and yeah, it's hard not to like talk about the end without giving it <laughs> right because it's yeah. a thriller you know, like i feel like her character <laughs> almost got like the bond girl storyline if that makes sense like in a movie the james bond movie and mm -hmm. like i feel like bond girls always go like one of two ways right and I didn't really know which way she was going to go. Sure. I get that. Yeah, I can see that. The, yeah, the ending was just so, like, I felt like out of left field. Like, I just, I didn't see it coming, which just added to the uniqueness of the book. It was just crazy. <laughs> yeah. When, you got to, when I got to the ending, I was like, what? Uh -huh. <laughs> and um, it doesn't, like end until the last page either like mm -hmm. no <laughs> yeah like, it goes right up until the end you're like what 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 and then done mm -hmm. and then you kind of just fall off the cliff and you're like yeah. oh, okay well like, okay all right <laughs> it almost feels like you're like i don't know you like black out at the end and then come to in the final yeah. couple pages that's another i think reason why i thought it would be so good as a movie because it was very much like you know end scene fade to black you know it was very much like okay now we've got the credits that's we're done that story's it. over you know it was just very like it was dramatic <laughs> definitely yeah. so get on that hollywood you need to turn this did into you some sort of hulu mini series mm -hmm. <laughs> so i said i couldn't really guess what was happening but did y'all guess what was going on or mm -hmm. no not really no. i mean i had some inklings but I mean, yeah. nothing really close to. <laughs> yeah, not until it started all like kicking off. I yeah, guess. it, it kind of you know you're like okay, then it kind of started making sense. But not until then, I'm like I had no. Like I said, I thought it was kind of like the village. I'm like something's wrong here, but I'm not really sure what. It's uh, it's hard to like explain. <laughs> it's so hard to explain without uh -huh. giving it away. But I feel like what's going on, like what ends up being the thing going on is like grounded in our world enough to be i felt like i don't know like 
the the deep nitty gritty of it probably is a little fantastical, but it still felt very plausible for our world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like crazy, but not that crazy right. like, kind of thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So crazy it could just happen. Yeah. Um, which out of yeah. And then <laughs> it throws all the characters into like question at the end too. Like I had to like re-examine all the different people I encountered through the book mm-hmm. to like see where they fit in with it because it, it does, I don't know. It's really focused on two characters I would, but like there is a broader cast of characters that mm-hmm. each have a role to play. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We've definitely focused on, you know, a couple, but there are other, you know, there are other um, ultra wealthy people at the lodge, you know, who are vacationing. There's also, you know, the workers that, you know, that are the other guides, like, um, uh, I can't talk like our main character. Cause I've totally forgot his name. I don't know why. Jack. Jack? Yes. Jack. <laughs> oh, my brain. Um, you know, so there's, there's definitely other supporting characters, not, obviously getting to know as much about them, but there's a lot of other stuff kind of going around at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. I liked the, um, the cook's name was Shay, right? The, the the, the, and I don't know. She she was complex to me because I felt like she's like culpable, but also, I don't know her. I wonder, I, uh, it is so hard to talk about like <laughs> what I actually think of these characters without giving away like why I have complex feelings about them. But I enjoyed her as a character. Mm-hmm. I think we got another uh, comment there. Oh. Rosemary has to yeah. head on out. <laughs> oh, she's got to go. <laughs> but she's going to be well, checking out the book soon. So well, good. I hope you enjoy thanks it, Rosemary. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, thanks and for joining us. Enjoy Colorado and be safe out there. <laughs> no because, kidding. Um, after reading this book, who knows what kind of peril you may encounter. Look out for cameras in the woods. <laughs> yeah. Signs <laughs> that say, uh, don't get shot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All yeah, right. Oh, go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, yeah, because right when he gets to the resort, that's like one of the first things that I that really – creeped me out were the demarcation lines and it was mm-hmm. like, and there's there. keypads to get into the resort you know you have to have mm-hmm. a, like a code to get mm-hmm. out too and yeah. they're like oh it's just because animals accidentally press the button and they have like these little gaslighty excuses for everything yeah oh <laughs> yeah oh rosemary said she saw a baby and a mama moose oh that's Ooh. awesome that's really cool i've always wanted to see a moose i've never seen one Rocky Mountain National Park. They'll get about two feet away from you. Oh, oh wow. no. I don't it's, want to see one that close. Like, yeah, yeah, no, that's too close. <laughs> don't mama moose fight you when they have babies around them? Uh, this is the one I see didn't have a baby, so. Yeah. It just stood there, just mm-hmm. chewing on some grass, living life, so. Well, what an experience. <laughs> Well, do you guys have anything else to say? I don't want to wrap it up if you've got any no, more feedback. No, I, I enjoyed it. I, I think yeah. it was a really good pick, and it was it was interesting. It was, I really liked it, um, mm-hmm. it, which is, it, it was one of our books from our summer reading list this year, so if you- That's why I wanted it, to read it. I saw it on the list, and I was like, mm-hmm. that sounds cool. So um, if you did summer reading, you, chances are you probably have already read it, but if you didn't do summer reading, we still have all the summer reading copies in the collection. So I think that's a, 10 copies of yeah. the guide are available for checkout. So you should be able to get your hands on it pretty easily. And as we were saying, it's a fast read. So why not? We've got some more moose comments. So. <laughs> <laughs> Bill says he's leery of the moose since he read Hatchet. I read Hatchet, but I don't remember the moose part. I also feel like, Leery of the Moose could be a book title itself. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> oh, and Mary Rosemary says they were in their truck. Oh, they uh, they were, uh, and it was uh, Rocky Mountain. Yeah, awesome. Cool. That is awesome. <laughs> That's a place everyone should go to. I think at least mm. once. Definitely worth the trip. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm glad you guys had good feelings about it. Like, it wasn't like you know a life changing story or anything, but it was a lot of fun. And it's a really Mm -hmm. like it's a quick read. You could read this in a weekend, no problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was really enjoyable. And 
I, I don't know. I always like a good thriller. So <laughs> Me too. Yeah, me too. Especially when it's a little bit different. There's so many that are, you know. You it wasn't your typical, like, on. crime, right. you know, like. Exactly. Husband kills the wife sort of thriller. Right. <laughs> yeah. There's a, a refreshing dynamic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I liked. And even, like, there is, like, a romance aspect to it, but not in the way that felt usual to me i don't know like it it wasn't obnoxious and it wasn't like the main thing and right. it was like a nice like added seasoning but it didn't like take over the narrative which it was I, very normal you know it was, it was like very it didn't normal feel, like, forced or like weird or, yeah you know it's just like normal <laughs> so next month is my pick and i'll probably announce it next week sounds good yeah. what are we doing next week besides hearing oh. what my pick is is new next week a new month no oh it's mm. the second to the last day of september it's 29 oh i don't know i don't, do I don't think book? we know we i don't, don't think know. We, we we didn't do a new books this month did we, we did. yeah you did beginning of the month this oh it is a long month well That's we'll find month. something cool to we'll, do yeah we'll be here <laughs> surprise <laughs> yeah all so, right Tune in next week to find out what our next book of the month will be. For the end of October. For the end of October. Well, thank you all for tuning in today. Hopefully you are adding The Guide by Peter Heller to your to-read list. Um, And of course, you can always keep commenting, even if you're not able to catch us live on here. Or you can reach out to our email, which is questions at siouxcitylibrary.org. Um, otherwise, we'll be back next week, See Thursday you then. at 3.30. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone.